Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we are jumping into a whole bunch of new products and I really enjoy the way this like sultry, cool toned, vampy green look turned out. It is perfect for fall. I mean, I am obsessed. So if you wanna see how we got all of this here today and go through a bunch of, for the most part actually, first impressions, including a palette that is, I'm obsessed with it. This thing is beautiful and I was able to get this out of it today. So if you want to see all of the details on everything I used here, make sure to keep on watching and please don't forget to subscribe because I upload three or four times a week. And that'll be the best way to stay up to date on all the fun stuff I'm posting. So if you want to join me for a fun little time where we play with makeup, stay tuned. I'm going to jump into eyes. So... I'm gonna use the Stuck On You Eye Primer from The Beauty Crop. This came in my Glossy Box Advent Calendar, and of course, I can't get it open. So I'm gonna just grab a tweezer. I'm gonna grab like a uh, packer brush and pick up a little bit on the bristles. It's a little light, but I think we can make it work. Let me grab a mirror. Okay, from the looks of it, this is not supposed to be like a pigmented base. It's supposed to be a smoothing and locking base. So I am going to just, with my finger, smooth that out a bit. It definitely did neutralize a decent amount of the redness on my lids. But for the eye look today, I am going to be using the British Museum X ZC. This palette is beautiful. This is the Ankh palette which is from their Egyptian collection, which is, like, tell me this isn't beautiful. And the packaging, it's nice and hard and firm, and I really like it. So I'm gonna be doing probably something with the greens because this shade right here is calling my name. So I'm gonna start with a packer brush going into that green. And you guys know that normally I do like to start with like a transition and build my way up. But because today I want to go a little bit more smoky, I'm going to do that instead. There's a mirror in here. That is super satisfying. So I'm going to just pat that on the outer corner of the eye. The pigment is definitely there. And I'm only going to blend that at the outer portion of the eye. I'm not going to take that all the way into the crease because this is going to be a little bit more blown out over here. Then going into a fluffy brush with this shade up here, which is basically like a matte transition shade in my skin tone. I'm just going to lightly blend the crease to soften that green. Taking a flat packer brush, I'm gonna go into that green that I've been eyeballing, which looks like a pressed glitter, but I'm hoping it's more of a metallic shade, which now that I'm looking at it, does look like that is the case. I am going to lightly mist it just because I do prefer misting shimmer shades. Oh my God, that is beautiful. Definitely zero regrets about doing the eye first though, because I can see this becoming fallout central, but that literally is the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. I'm gonna grab a pointy brush with this dark brown shade down here. And I am just gonna slowly trace the crease. I will end up blending that out shortly, but I just wanna start by with a blending motion in the crease. Then going into a smaller blending brush. Nope, smaller than that, smaller than that. That one will work. I'm just gonna go into the socket of the eye and blend. With a little more green on that packer brush, just adding a tiny bit more to the outer portion of the eye to deepen it up. I am already loving how this is turning out and it is still sloppy because I haven't cleaned it up yet. What I'm gonna do now is I'm going to grab a makeup wipe 
If it didn't come in PR, I wouldn't be using it, but I am attempting to move away from single-use disposable makeup wipes, and I am going to clean up the under-eye area. I don't have a new mascara or lash to try on or base, so I'm going to go put on my base and my lashes and my mascara and my brows, and I'll be right back to tie up the eye. We'll do lip. We'll do everything else with you on camera. All right, I am back. I did not do the brows because I realized I had a brow product to do on camera. So this is from Fenty Beauty. This is in the shade Light Brown. It is the Brow MVP, which comes with the like weird artiste brush tip. I have not used this product before, so I'm going to line my brows lightly. I do typically prefer a lighter brown on my brows as opposed to like a deeper brown. I am not used to the brush. I will be honest with that. I do, you know, a spoolie is kind of industry standard at this point. It's a little red. I will say that, which is not the end of the world given my new hair color. So that might actually end up being a plus. But I will say right off the bat, it is already more work, more time consuming. And honestly, I don't think I like the effect as much as my Milk Brow Gel. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not exactly sold. Yeah, I don't love it. Which is a little upsetting because I have really not found too many, if any, products from Fenty that I don't like. So yeah, I'm going to jump into my Milk Brow Gel. Yeah, see how much less red that is, how easy that was to just lightly fill everything in. I know a lot of people who like to use this brow gel on top of other products like I just did. But honestly, I think I just like how easy the effect is just going in with the brow gel. Nothing else necessary. Whatever. It's fine. It looks okay. We'll deal. I'm going to jump back into the palette. And actually, I'm going to grab an eyeliner first. Um... I'm going to go brown on the liner. This is the Beauty For Real 24-7 or whatever, 24-7 eyeliner in Whiskey, which is a really beautiful brown. Probably my favorite brown liner. And I'm going to focus that on the outer corner of the eye, taking that a little bit under the eye right here, just to make it look a little more upturned. And I'm going to go in the waterline everywhere else. So you'll notice it is a much thinner line right here, and it does get thinner on the outside. Then on the tip of this Beauty For Real brush, I'm going to take the dark green, and I'm going to just smoke a tiny bit of that green on the outer portion of that lash line. And I'm only taking that about halfway into the eye. And then with the other side of the brush, Going into the brown that we used, I'm taking a tiny bit, which is much fluffier, and I'm just going to blend that around the dark green, because I do want a little bit of that green going to the inner corner, but not a lot. I still want it to be predominantly out here. And then with a tiny bit more of the green, just making sure we didn't blend too much on the outer corner because we do still want it to be pretty smoky on the outside of the eye. On my detail brush, I'm going to take the white shade in the center, and it does have a little bit of a green iridescence to it. So I'm hoping it works just like the lid shade, and I'm going to highlight the inner corner. Oh, that's really beautiful. That is absolutely stunning. I am going to take that pencil brush from before and just blend a little bit under the inner corner just so that it doesn't look quite as stark where it just stops. All right, I don't have anything new for bronzer or blush, so I'm going to use the Nesting Bitch Face from Pretty Vulgar that came in this month's BoxyCharm just to bronze up the skin. The eyes, like, the skin looks really pale because of how dark the eyes are, so a little bronzer is really going to help this out. All right, now we're getting somewhere. I'm going to do a highlight now with you guys. This is from Revolution, Makeup Revolution London. It is a cheek palette that also came in the glossy box. 
really pretty colors. I'm gonna go in, because of how cool tone the eyes are, I'm gonna go in with the pinky shade. You guys know how I am for a pink highlight. Okay, that's blinding. Okay, you don't need a lot of this. A little goes a long way, but we can save it. Trick time, trick time. If you go in with too much highlighter, first grab your blush brush and pull down and then buff in circular motions. See how much better that looks already and I'm not even done fixing it. Pull down onto the cheek, then circular motions, a little bit of setting mist, and then pat over it with your sponge. Okay, that's much better. And if you feel like it's a little too intense, you can just take your powder brush and pat over it a little bit more, and that will kind of tone it down even more. I have a few lip options, and I think I'm gonna go into one of these two from ColourPop. I think, yeah, the peachy one. This is ooh, O-O-U-U-U-U exclamation point from ColourPop. I love this formula of lippies. This is a new shade to me, but um, the Luxe lippies are super comfortable. I've already used quite a few of them, actually. I have that weird greeny blue one. That's a pretty color. It's a little light. Yeah, that is still a little too light on the center. It looks better, but I think I would pair that with something a little bit softer. So I'm gonna go into Hawkwind from Kat Von D instead. Yeah, that's gonna be a better vibe. All right, I'm gonna go throw this on instead. Yeah, that color is much better. I like the other color and I will definitely uh, try that again, but not with an eye look like this. All right, I'm going to now go throw on mascara and lashes and I'll be right back. All right, lashes are on, lips are on, and I am really happy with how this whole thing turned out. So let me know down below what you guys are loving so far this month and what you've been playing with. Because right now, this like vampy green, it is everything. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. <laughs> Bye.